Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, you will learn about alkene. We will cover structure of alkene, nomenclature of alkene, and natural source of alkene. What is hydrocarbon? Hydrocarbon are organic compounds containing only carbon and hydrogen atoms. It can be divided into saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbon. Saturated hydrocarbon only contain carbon-carbon single bond, while unsaturated hydrocarbon contain at least one carbon-carbon double bond or carbon-carbon triple bond. Saturated hydrocarbon can further divide it into acyclic alkane and cycloalkane. Acyclic alkane is an open chain alkane, while cycloalkane is a cyclic structure. The slide shows the first 10 unbranched alkane suffixes. This is the example of number of carbon atoms in the form of acyclic alkanes and cycloalkanes. What is isomerism? Isomerism is the existence of different compounds with the same molecular formula but different structural formula. One of the examples is constitutional isomerism. I'm using three examples, pentane, 2-methylbutane and 2,2-dimethylpropane. All the three structures have the same molecular formula but differ in the order of arrangement of atoms. Pentane is a straight chain alkane, while the other two are branches alkane. Next, before we discuss about IUPAC nomenclature, let's look at the definition of alkyl group. Alkyl group are substituents that attach to the parent chain. It is derived by removing a hydrogen atom from an alkane. This example shows methyl act as a substituent attached to the second carbon of butane. The next three slides shows example of alkyl groups. Nomenclature of alkane. First rule, identify the longest continuous carbon chain as a parent chain. Second rule, name the substituent and always give a smaller number to the substituent. Third rule, designate the location of the substituent, for example, 2-methylhexane. Rule number four, if you have same substituent appears more than once, use prefixes di, tri, tetra, and so on. For example, 2,3-dimethylbutane. For rule number 5, arrange the substituents in alphabetical order. Give them small numbers as possible. In alphabetizing, the prefixes di, tri, tetra, sec, and third are ignored. For example, for ethyl, 
2,2-dimethylhexane. This slide shows the structure of 3-isopropyl 2,5-dimethylhexane. The prefix di is not considered in alphabetizing, while the prefix iso is considered. Take note, when two substituents present on the same carbon, use that number twice. For example, 3-ethyl-3-methylhexane. When you have two chains of equal length, choose the chain with the greater number of substituents as a parent. In this example, we have a red chain and also a blue chain. The red chain have four substituents, while the blue chain only has three substituents. So, the greater number of substituents is the red chain. When branching occurs at an equal distance from either end of the longest chain, choose the name that gives the lower number at the first point of difference. Example as shown in the slide. This slide shows some of the cycloalkyl substituent. How to name cycloalkane with substituent? If you have only one substituent present, you don't have to number the substituent. But if you have more than one substituent present, you have to give the smallest number to the substituent and the substituent are numbered according to alphabetical order. For example, 1 ethyl, 2 methyl cyclohexane. The main source of alkenes are natural gas and petroleum. Natural gas is often found associated with petroleum deposits. Petroleum is a liquid mixture containing hundreds of substances, roughly half of which are alkanes or cycloalkanes. Oil is a mixture of liquid alkanes and other hydrocarbons.